Kicking in with Jason. I want to talk about um, economics. Economics. There was an interesting uh, post that I put up um, a few weeks ago, and it was talking about. It was between um, Jamil Hill. She's a sports bra- broadcaster. Not a broadcaster. She's a sports blogger, um, analyst. She uh, she does a lot of good content. She does a lot of a lot of good work. She's beyond ESPN. Um, but she brought people on to her circle to talk about, you know, the social equality uh, or social injustice, social inequality happening in our country. And um, former athletes were on there too. And uh, one of the one of the speakers on there was saying how one of the things that the black community has to understand is economics because you know, people don't have the money to do a basic bail and they get caught up in prison for that for so long. And um, I don't know how much you guys have read up on the wealth gap and how much you have learned of how that wealth gap has been spread from years ago of real estate oppression, um, loan oppression, bank oppression, uh, you know, just not having the access to the same opportunities that whites have had in this country but that that decades and years and hundreds of years we could say has been a ripple effect to today and so she said we have to understand economics we have to understand how to make money um and that like that's always been something i've always been not i shouldn't say always but i got more concentrated on uh probably as a young adult you know just trying to figure out how to make money and things like that is you know how are people so wealthy how are people making money what are ways to make money and um you know like a, a big thing is support black businesses if 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 we were able to use the keep the money in house sort of say right you know shop at black businesses black owners make money small businesses make money Hopefully those those small business owners use that money to put back into their neighborhoods and the economy and to create jobs and things like that. So you can see how supporting black businesses is a great way to uh, lessen the wealth gap. But I think also in our own responsibility of just learning how to turn a dollar to five dollars, ten dollars to twenty dollars, a hundred dollars to five hundred dollars is important. And when we do learn how to do that, we can't be secretive with our information we have to pass that knowledge along and teach everybody else how to do that you know that's why i post my garage sale shopping videos of how i bought something for a dollar like a like i bought um, a plush doll for a dollar at a garage sale and i resell it for 15 on ebay i buy buy vhs's for a dollar resell it for you know 50 bucks with the vhs's and the vcr that think that is so important to share to show people how they can make money and how they can do that on their own and not not even talking about rich or becoming rich because i'm not rich but just showing how you can create a thousand dollars in 90 days on on ebay 300 dollars a month um or showing how you can get into sports cards and um invest a few dollars to turn into a lot of dollars if we understand that we use tools we use the internet and um we uh we take control of using the using our phones and smartphones and branding ourselves i think a lot of good things can happen i think i think a big piece of economics is understanding what you love and building something a hustle around that building a side business building a career around what you love uh which i'm currently doing fitness and kickboxing now sports cards you know, hopefully that's that's poems when I get more serious about that. Um, but it's all possible because of the internet. And I think I think that's where we should start. You know, what do you love and how can you make it real? How can you make what you love real for you? Uh, from just from what I see, a lot of people aren't doing what they love, but they're doing what they um, what other people have pushed them to do. Um, like their parents or peer pressure or you know the college to job access which is I I did I did a podcast on this recently it's 
it's a bad system because college is just getting to a lot of debt. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense to go eighty thousand dollars into debt and get a job that's paying you, you know, thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars a year. And at the same time, you're only money on a house. You're only money money on a car. You're buying new cars, new houses. It's just the debt accumulates. And I'm not I'm not an expert at this. I'm just watching. I'm just listening, and I'm just you know seeing other information, just seeing how people are living and they get into this cycle but what if it's basic economics that we can learn how to save we can learn how to uh, invest and um, create I think uh, I think some cool things are coming out of that and and sharing it I was had had a DM conversation with somebody who's like I would love to talk about black economics more and how sports cars can do that and I'm going to his his Instagram and I'm like like bro you got no content on it like how do you want to how are you going to share this information but you're not posting about it on the internet where everybody is all their attention is you know it's like being a singer and somebody saying like hey i know you i know you like to sing and if you go to the stadium there's gonna be a group of people for you in the stands to hear your music but you don't go to the stadium that's the same thing with the internet whatever you have that you're passionate about that you're working on that you want to start doing start documenting what you're up to and put it online put it on tiktok don't worry about who's judging you because that is a part of economics economics is is learning how to create resources develop resources and i would even say help people get or uh, help people get to those same resources too um so that's my two cents on economics like I'm not a, a college student. I'm not, you know, wealthy. I'm not anything like that. Uh, but uh, I do know that with sports cars, I have been able to invest and see a card go grow, grow from 50 to 450. I've seen a card. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I've seen a card go from 18 dollars to about 90 dollars. I've seen a card go from um 250 to a thousand you know these are all investments that i've that i've done for myself and i pass the information and i have people that are hitting me up and asking me how can they do it and that's that's powerful if i would have kept that in how how are people gonna how are other people gonna know how are other people gonna be able to use that information and and apply it to their life to where they can uplift themselves and create something for themselves and pass that along to the next person you can't be secretive with economics Teach you how to get on because a good karma does come around, around and in the long run, you win. You certainly win. Um, you know, I I I know that uh, I've been posting content probably consistently for the last I would say like two years, and it's paid off in so many ways. And um, I know that it's not even the beginning. I know that there's more more coming in the future and um i have to keep moving and pedaling and just staying my course staying in my process because you know it's gonna lead to something so economics black economics how can we how can we make money to create uh, our own businesses and keep our dollars strong and build up communities. I mean, it starts with ourselves. It starts with ourselves and understanding what we can do with the tools that we have. That's what I feel.